Because of my voice, I have chosen one of the shortest lessons ever written. The Place of Poverty in the Apostolic Life For me, always, because I learned as a Jesuit in the Constitution. Poverty is the mother and the wall of the apostolic life. It is the mother because it gives birth and it is the wall because it protects us. Without poverty, there is no apostolic zeal. There is no life of service to others. It is a concern that relates to money and transparency. This means that as a Jesuit, first they must get a PhD and then they renounce all goods. They move forward with great zeal. They teach. The salary goes back to the order. But they teach so very well. But within their knowledge is the understanding that all income will help others. All they do every day, every hour of every day is for someone else. And the wall of the church, the wall gives birth because others will have tried to do this but give birth because by hitting that wall, new ideas are formed. In reality, one who believes cannot break of poverty and live like a pharaoh. At times, we see these things and it is a counter witness to speak of poverty and lead a life of luxury. And it is very scandalous to deal with money without total transparency or to manage the assets of the church as if they were personal assets. Right here, it is a spear aimed at the chief evangelist. It is aimed at those large, large online and TV organizations that attempt to be of faith, profess to be of faith, pretend to be about faith. These organizations are as much about faith as I am about personal fitness. They do everything in opposition to the Christ. They don't and won't do anything 
that appears or sounds like Christianity. In other words, they stand outside the doors of these monster churches, happily admitting that their church is much bigger and their church gets redone every two to two and a half years by the time the 2020 remodel was done for the slime ball Joel Austin they were already starting the 2022 update And those updates were destroyed, yes, by a smoke of lightning. The floods of Floyd. <laughs> I just love it. The floods destroyed. That temple. That temple where he would not let anyone in to be safe. Not a person. All the films of all of their mission work and the Well, I guess they would be called home f films because even though the camera and the films have been given to members of the church to use, they had thought they would be given a cut of what was given because these were all young men and women who thought they would be given a cut. And they are right in the middle of the Pope Declaration, because these people always profess to Christianity via Pope. We are going to do one 